we say in Slichus, when we say Menucha, Kidam Nucha Tchila, Shmhat Aznacha Mimarim, Shmoya, El Arina, El Atfila. So there's Tfila and there's Rina. Before Tfila, there's Rina. Rina is a lotion of Rananu, joy, celebration, dancing. How does that come to Slichus? That's why before Tfilla we had to have a kumzit of a bring it to Arina. So the truth is the Balshamtim, the holy Balshamtim once came to a town. And they said, Rebbe, we need you to speak to our chazan. We have a very strange chazan. Yom Kippur, he sings through the whole Al-Chet. al he starts dancing. Michael Mishdal, Oshnara, Masa, Matan, Embezzlement. At times, he's dancing. Others, sugar, he's delusional. What are you dancing for? I said, is it okay? Let me see him. The chazan comes to him. I hear that you start al he start dancing. What's first dance to What's dance to what are you dancing? Oh, he's dancing. Oh, he's dancing. Oh, why shouldn't I dance? He says, it's confession of sins. What's, what's the dance? So he says, the king has a beautiful palace. Different people are in charge of different duties in the palace. This one is in charge of the food. This one is in charge of the heat. This one's in charge of the guests, this one's in charge of the art, this one's in charge of the treasures. I mean, what is in charge of different parts? So then there's a person who's in charge of cleaning up the mess. He's given a broom and given a mop, but he cleans up the mess. So tell me, when he's cleaning up the dirt, he doesn't dance, he doesn't sing. Of course he sings. He sings because he's cleaning up. He has the schus to clean up the dirt in the king's palace. He says, al you're cleaning up the dirt in the Shammas Yisrael, to the king's holiest place. Of course you see, you're supposed to clean up the mess. That's L'shmoye El Harina Bela Tfilin. You saw the Rosh Hashanah, you keep a slich as is. And the Jew has to realize he's cleaning up the little dirt in the most precious, beautiful, perfect, holiest soul, which is his own or her own. Baal Shem gave a marshal about Rosh Hashanah and Kippah and Tzluchit. You know, now is the season of the Chazonim. Yoel is going to go Chazon to Chinuman. But all the Chazonim and Pali Tfilah, this is the season, the high season. The rabbis give sermons, and the Chazonim give Nikodim. They say a Maisen and the Cossacks once kidnapped a rabbi, Chazon and the president of the synagogue on Yom Kippah night. So I'm going to shoot you all, but you have a last wish. So the rabbi says, a whole year I prepare for my Yom Kippur sermon, let me say it. Sorry, Chazan, what's your last wish? A whole year I prepare my songs for Yom Kippur, let me sing it. President, what about you, your last wish? He says, kill me first. <laughs> well, Shemtev says, well, Shemtev says, that there was once a, a, a lion, in the jungle, the lion got into a bad mood. When the blade gets into a bad mood, everyone is terrified. He's the king of the jungle. What do you do? So the fox, Rabbi Fook, said, I have the Kabbalah 300 jokes. I'm going to say them to the lion, and he'll laugh. Everything will be because Rabbi Shem Tov says. If they start marching to the king, the fox is going to give over 300 stories jokes. On the way, the fox turns to the wolf, the wolf, so the wolf, I forgot a hundred jokes. It's so, okay, you have two hundred. A few miles weiter. The hirsch turns to the hirsch to the deer. I forgot another hundred jokes. It's so, okay, you have a hundred left. It's fine. The mamish by the lion's den. The lion comes out. Thousands of animals. Turns around. He says, in a bed, in a battle. Turns to the bear. I forgot the last hundred. Last hundred. Oh, you can The lion is here. He forgot. The fox turns to him, he says, basically, each and every one of you got to go. Just speak to him.
what you have to say without me. Well, Shem Tov says people hire Chazonim and Rabbonim as a fax. You should give over all the nice entertaining jokes. Because at some point, turn to the people, say, talk to them face to face, say what's on your heart. Sadly, many of us were so used to the routine that we're not there anymore. But everybody knows that about Shem Tov Shul and Yom Kippur, there was a kid who screamed, Kukuriku, because that's all he knew. So I want to bless you, you should have the courage, the slichas, the shoshami, and kippah, to be able just to say kukuriku, meaning to be able to speak to Hashem, naked, pure, without any agendas. You have to use your own words, you use your own words. You can speak in English, you can speak in Yiddish, you can even speak in French. They say that he knows different languages. But to be able to speak, to speak directly from your heart. Before we go to Slichus, finish off with Hamaisa of the Holy Badichavah. So in Shabbos, Slichus, Badichavah is the Oye of Yisrael. It's good to tell Hamaisa about the Badichavah. So the Holy Badichavah, the Helikavah is the Badichavah, the Badichavah is Yorkshire, is also Tishrei. He had terrible, terrible opposition, terrible. This was the time of the big machloikas of the Mesnagadim against the Chassidim. They hunted him down, they persecuted him terribly. He was a Yid, got him rid of, he was a Rav in Pinsk, they threw him out of Pinsk. He came to Badichev. In Badichev, there was a Choshev, a Yid, a wealthy Jew who despised the Hedlik of Badichev. And he always tried to prove to the community that he's unsuitable to be a Rav. He's from the Kat, he's from the cult, you can't have him as a Rav. But he never managed to succeed. Once he conceived a scheme. And if you keep in the afternoon, he came to the Hale Kibadichiv and he said, Rebbe, I want to ask you, Mechila. He was a vicious man, shrewd man. I want to ask you, Mechila, for all the Agnes Nefesh I caused you, would you be me, Michael? Dichiv said, Of course, what's the question? It was a mahog, it was him a kiss. He says, Rebbe, don't you believe that deserves a Lechayim? Drink that I, the big misnagid of Badich, have made up with you. Badich was, of course, he had sex and nights. You know what sex and nights is? Ah, uh, you don't know. It's also risen. Ninety-six percent alcohol. You drink a little kalish, you drink a little cup, you're out. He had a little bottle. He fills up a cup for the Badich, a cup for himself. What was his plan? I did ever say the chayim? We made up. He gives a little sip, pours the rest in his bosom. But did she drink some the chayim to somebody wants? Says Rebbe, I'm a snagged like me to make up with you with a chiddush Rebbe. It deserves a second drink. Don't use it, Zavada. Or is it a second cup of Zexa Nitesika? But it should have says Lachayim, 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 Tavis is so, drinks it. You see, it pours the cup down his bosom. It says, Rebbe, three times is a chazaka. To make it really stick, let's do a third Lachayim, Avada. Gives him a third cup of Zexa Nights, get 96%. But it should have says Lachayim, drinks it. He finishes it. He says, Rebbe, good yomtev, a good yor, good yomtev, machs, but He leaves the house, he's so happy. He understands when Kalnidre is coming with the Badichev is going to be somewhere under a table. And then he'll be able to prove what type of Rav they have in Badichev. A guy in Kippur Kalnidre, his stone is smashed. First day stone. He underestimated the Helik of Badichev. Comes Kalnidre. Comes to Shul Sameach with Toivle. This man was never so besimcha Yim Kippur. Like this Yim Kippur. It's like the mice of the Jew who goes to Slichus Yom Kippur depressed. So he meets a lads here on Forshek. He says, why are you so depressed? He says, I didn't do one Aveda this year. I checked on my iPhone, I didn't do one. So the whole video is going to be in vain. I came to look at saying, I didn't do one Aveda. He says, what's the problem? There's a half an hour left for Yom Kippur. He says, what can you do in a half an hour? He says, plenty. He says, Lamosh, he's your next door neighbor. You love him or you hate him. He says, for sure I hate him. So why don't you go in? 
before Yom Kippur and give him a beating. Will he have a better Aveda than beating up a Jew out of Yom Kippur? Then you'll be able to do Shuvah or Yom Kippur. This is Gavaldic idea. Goes into the man's house, starts hitting him and shoving him and punching him and kicking him for 20 minutes. With Shev Yechud, with the Shev Yechud, with the Shev Yechud, Poor guy is verhackt, verwundet, verbloschen, it's a so blutig. He leaves the house, some meyach with Toiv Leib, now he's going to have a real cheftz of Yom Kippur. Be a chloisi of kippel, be able to do vidu and be zich besmad and do tshuva. As he's going down the street to shul, the wife of the beaten Jew comes out, says, "If I don't know who you are, I don't see you, but was came on the shvisa basar a mitzvah to start shkita." You'll never know what a great mitzvah, what a great mitzvah you just did. Anyway, comes Kolbiri. This guy is so happy; he was never so happy. He got the baditchim and got drunk. <laughs> Who walks in for Kol Nidrei? But we used to come by the Shul. Talas, the Kittel goes over to the place. Davins, Kiloyaya, regular Yom Kippur. The Minigin Badichev, the Minigin many Kielases. After Yom Kippur Maidev, they stay in Shul to say the whole Tillim. It's a Minigin different communities. Badichev used to be the Chazan for Tillim. So after Maidev Yom Kippur, he gets up to the Shtetka and he starts saying Tillim. This person is very upset. He had this whole plan, it didn't work. The Rebbe was there, davening regularly, he was drunk, he was intoxicated, everything was wrong. But it was the Chaz, and he comes to Kapitel Membeis, starts saying a Pasuk three times. Zois yadati, ki chafatz tabi, ki lo yariya oivi aloi. Literally it means, how do I know that you want me, that you like me? Ki lo yariya oivi aloi, you won't allow my enemies to triumph over me. Yaria, you won't allow my enemies, Oivi Eli, my enemies to triumph over me. He says it three times. And then he translates in Yiddish in the middle of stage, tell him as the chazan. But his translation is not the pshat. He gives his own translation. This is what he says. Bezois yadati ki chafatz tabi. Viva lechvis in gotten you at the host melib. Ki lo yaria Oivi Eli. So mine fight to live me. How do I know you love me? That even my biggest enemy will not suffer because of me. If you really love me, make sure that no Jew in the world, even the one who hates my guts, don't allow him to have any ra. That's all I ask you. If you love me, make sure to clean away anything even from my worst enemy. He says this three times. Even this year, Dumamish had a lava heaven. You can understand he had a heart of rock. He melted. 